All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are going thrifting for golf clubs once again. And Ashley has been, I've done nothing lately. Ashley has found some insane stuff yeah, last maybe time. Maybe I'll let you find something this time. Yeah, I'll just let me find the uh, good stuff today. Yeah. Bring my confidence back up. Yes. You found a $400 putter last time. And before that, I found a Scotty Cameron in a bucket. Yeah, a bucket Scotty Cameron. <laughs> but uh, let's see if we can't find any bucket list clubs today. Oh, nice. That let's was good. You Never know what you're going to find, though. So let's go find it. Let's go find it. Also, we're starting off at the fanciest Goodwill I've ever seen. So yes. hopefully, they got some uh, fancy golf clubs for us. Let's try not get killed going across the road. Hopefully, not. Sweet. Oh, there's a bunch of high school kids staring at us during our intro. <laughs> That wasn't awkward. No, not at all. All right, let's see if this fancy Goodwill's got some fancy golf clubs for us. We got some uh, fancy head covers over here. Look like a uh, old couch. Ashley also already got distracted. That thing is amazing. A dog toy. Can't touch this MC Hammer cactus. MC Hammer cactus for sure. I don't know if we uh, need that. Also, no. that's twice the size of uh, my <laughs> parents' dog. Yeah. But uh, let's see what they got for the uh, golf clubs. Got some old school Tommy Armour Silver Scots. Got some newer uh, Tommy Armour 845. Still not that new. Lady Palmer. Lady Palmer. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that persimmon? That thing is cool. I like it when they have the etchings on there. Yeah. Two and a half wood. Nice. Nice. You can't decide. Go in the Oh, we got a yeah, never compromise putter over here. Oh, it's in a bundle. Got to get them all. It's only $5, though. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to get that. Never compromise putter. Let's see if they got anything hidden back here. Oh, yeah. Old school uh, Wilson staff laid the FG-17. I actually played the uh, FG-62s for a while. Those things are <laughs> super, super nice. They look stunning. I yeah. still can't hit them, but they look stunning. They're actually pretty easy to hit. I don't know why. Like the long irons and blades, you would think they would be hard, but they have a lot of weight like underneath the ball, so the center of gravity is kind of low. But uh, I don't think we need just the uh, random eight iron. Well, not the uh, fanciest of stuff other than the uh, can't touch this and the never compromise butter. Never compromise. We might just donate the other two clubs back. Yeah. Oh, did I fall? No, well, I didn't fall. Did they fall? They fall. They're We're all falling. Well, check this out. They got the Diamond Resorts Tournament of Champions stuff still in here. I haven't seen the head cover. Oh. We found like basically every Goodwill in Orlando has like 50 of their yeah. uh, shirts. We got the golf balls too. Yeah, the yeah. Volvic uh, golf balls. Oh. Also, the bane of uh, every Mets uh, fan's <laughs> existence for a while. Ryan Howard. Yeah. Also, the uh, Never Compromise putter doesn't have a grip, so we get to choose that. There you go. It's $5. Who cares? No. It's also, getting the head cover. It's pretty cool. cool. It's high end. Uh -huh. What is that? What brand is this? I don't know what brand it is. Stacked golf head covers coming soon? Brandless. It's brandless, just like us. All right, $5 later, and we're the proud owner of this Never Compromise putter. I actually shot one of my best rounds ever with a uh, Never Compromise Voodoo Daddy, so we always pick them up. Not worth a ton of money. Plus, we got to add a grip, so. It's customized. Customized to our own specifications. We'll be to the next spot. Fancy Goodwill. Kind of came through. That was so creepy. We're right by the airport, and then the plane casted a shadow on us. Also, we're at our next spot, Goodwill. Not as fancy as the last one. Probably have better clubs, though. All right, looks like they got some golf clubs for us. Let's see if they are better than the uh, fancy Goodwill. Got, like, a full set over here. McGregor's. McGregor DX by Nicholas. Oh, some uh, McGregor persimmons. Oh, old Ginty. Nice. Those are kind of cool. And the most important. Club, back. Yeah, the most Ball important. Oh, they got a uh, original uh, tailor made, the original one, Pittsburgh Persimmon. That's got a some lot of lead tape going serious on lead there. tape. Oh, is it a TP Mills? This bag's kind of cool. Nothing really worth picking up, but uh, it's not a TP Mills. It looks exactly like yeah. a, a TP Mills. I think this is a slot line. That uh, should say right. Yeah, a slot line. Interesting bag, not worth picking up. This bag is pretty cool too. Seal or Zeal. No the idea. That's one? a super fancy bag though. Yeah. Ram Golden Girl, Golden Bear. Golden all around. Golden all around. All right, no golf clubs worth picking up, but we did pick these up. These are some shattered backboards, some uh, Jordan ones, which are pretty cool. And they're the perfect size for uh, a putter cover. Yes. These actually go for like $60, kind of funny. Yeah, I totally wear those if they're my size. Yeah, your size for sure. Also, how do we not comment on uh, Ashley's uh, Cinco de Mayo? Got the uh, Mexican national team, got yeah. some uh, Mexican colored uh, Nike that Air Max 90s. Good. Also, I got a Batman shirt and actually got a couple of t-shirts. <laughs> Riveting content so far. Yeah. We'll meet to the next spot. Hopefully, there's some golf clubs. Hopefully. Oh, that's cool. How's it going? Ping Junior set. That's really cool. Do you have any other uh, golf clubs besides those? Uh, some Bokey Wick. Can I sell them? No, I think there's oh, there's nothing, nothing really much. What are you looking for? Oh, just basically anything we buy and sell and collect stuff. Odyssey and Bullseye. Oh, Odyssey and Bullseye. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Do you know how much you would want for those? Those ones, probably about 20 for one or five, 25 for both. 25 for both? Cool. 
cute looking. Oh, there's some over here too. That's an exciting. <laughs> yeah. Are these ones for sale over here? The R7s? They could be. It's not a complete set. Okay. I'll let it go cheap with the bag though. Yeah, it's cool. It's like a Ricky Fowler bag. <laughs> What's that? It's like a Ricky Fowler bag. Do you know how much you'd want for that? <laughs> it's been up there for like two years. Three good clubs are coming out. I had an R7 driver back right now. Mm -hmm. How much you need for those? Like rescue club, ugly orange bag, four, five, seven, eight. What are you thinking? Uh, I'll give it away for 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Give you 50 bucks out the door? Cool. Got cash. Yep, we can do that. All right, $50 out the door. Oh, my shadow's in the way. It's following me around. Funny how it does yeah, that, but we got catch. some. Uh, it's attached to me. We got the uh, R7 CGB Max. We got yeah. a four iron, five iron, seven iron, and an eight iron. And uh, those things go for about $30 or $40 a piece. Yeah. And then we also got not a uh, tailor made rescue. Maybe we got a uh, Rapture V2 hybrid, which goes for a little bit more. But this bag That's is absolutely uh, steady. Yeah, it's like a uh, Ricky Fowler bag. Looks like there's still stuff in here, too. <laughs> we got some. Uh, well, maybe find something good. Got oh some uh, Callaway golf balls, Callaway. Oh yeah, a little uh, wrench. Also got in here. Oh, we'll update you if we find anything good. Oh, oh, it's gonna be this one. It's gonna be this one. It's rusted shut. Oh, literally. <laughs> oh man, we got a Bushnell Tour Z6 Rage Finder. That's pretty crazy. That is, well, that was a pretty good deal there. Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say so. Things are heating up. Things are definitely uh, heating up. Well, we got off to a slow start. Now we're done. Yeah. yeah. Lost for words on that one. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> we'll meet you the next spot. All right. Last stop of the day. We went to a few more pawn shops and thrift stores. The only thing we found were the worst pair of fake uh, Jordans I've ever seen. I'll show you a little clip of that. that was, those were pretty intense, but uh, hopefully the plating and sports will save the day. All right. We got to check on our Orlemar Tri Metal and never ending supply. It is dwindling. The first time we came here, there was like 75 of them. Apparently, one guy was like hoarding them and they just like brought them all in at one time. Need to restock soon. Yeah. Need to uh, restock. Oh, these uh, burner super steels are pretty sweet. How much are those? $9.99. We got a V steel over here for $9.99. You pick up the uh, old school uh, fairway woods for uh -huh. uh, sure. Let's check out what they got in terms of the putters. We got an Odyssey full. Look at this. We got a, I think this is the design by Cleveland. We'll see an 8802 style putter. <laughs> I think you are correct. Going for $39.99. We got a Rife two bar. Oh, I'm already excited about the shaft. I think that's the, uh, the Nick Price. Yeah, it is. Nick Price, Bobby Grace, 1994 PGA Championship. That That's thing is sick. Yeah, too. we found one of those beforehand. It came with like a display yeah, at a, a awesome. garage sale. How much is that going for? It is $49.99. $49.99. Definitely got to uh, pick that one up. We got a PXG putter over here. They've had this for a while. $2.99. I forget which one this is called. The Darkness. Yeah, I remember Darkness. I forget what it was called. Uh, got a White Hot number five over here. $59.99. That was you're literally just leaving me with nothing. You find the uh, Bobby Grace. Oh, here's another Bobby Grace. Maybe this one will be just as good. The V-foil. Bobby Grace V-foil. $49.99. It's not a bad deal. Yeah. I'm not up uh, on your level. What else we got? Oh, that's the uh, Serene Crazy. How much is that? It is $49.99. $49.99. It seems to be a popular price. See what else we got over here. Oh, this is the... Uh, uh, what is that called? The uh, oh, give me a second. The uh, the shaft, the Oban Kiyoshi or something like that. It's like a two hundred and fifty dollars shaft. How much is the driver? It's kind of weird that it's in a a Wilson driver. It's only one hundred and seventy dollars. This shaft is like ridiculously expensive. Oh man, this thing's sick. Who is it? Gary Woodland. Really? I was gonna say it's like a two hundred and fifty dollars yeah, shaft. Yeah. Huh. Well, there you go. I think you beat me now. <laughs> yeah, I beat you finally. Let's do it. Do you know if there's any uh, other Vis clubs in here? That's the only one. Okay. Cool. cool. Well, I finally got a neck. That's gonna be hard to beat. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's anything else in here. That might be my best find ever. Literally, oh, Gary wow. Woodland's driver. I was gonna say, it's two hundred fifty dollars shaft today. That alone. Yeah. Oh. What do you got? Oh man, that Taylor Bay bag is sick. That thing is amazing. We found like two issue clubs. We found two issue wedges also. Now I'm getting distracted by the bag. That's stunning. That thing is amazing. Is there a price tag on it? No. Well, this two edge exotics bag is pretty sweet too. 149. But I need it. 
That thing is amazing. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That huh. we'll have to inquire about yes. that. Speaking of uh, touristy stuff, like I was saying, we found some uh, wedges in here before. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's cool. Oh, it's a Smith Works. These are super high end. 50 degree gap wedge, KBS shaft in there. Uh, $59, let's say. Is that a prototype? It says Proto Series. Proto Series Vertical Balance. Huh. That is some weird marketing for you. I don't know, but these things go for like $120 even used. They are super, yeah, they have like the uh, weird illegal grooves on them. Ah. I think these are illegal. I'm pretty sure they are. You can say it. We'll say it. I'll look it up. <laughs> yes. I don't know everything, surprisingly. <laughs> but uh, what else do we got over here? We still got that Casey Martin bag, which is uh, cool. <sighs> Let's see what they got in terms of the uh, lefty stuff. Gives it a little lefty uh, love. You got the Ping Serene 7 wood. Not a lefty, though. Ping Serene 7 wood. How much are we going for? Yeah, 49.99. Oh, they were like stuck on that. Got some price. Cobra Fly Z hybrids for the ladies. 39.99. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah. We oh, found one of those. Uh, it's irons too. Oh really? Huh. What is that? So it's missing like. It's kind of a partialist set. Yeah, yeah. I think they had a full set and then they replaced the eight and the nine iron. Yeah. Know, let's see what they got in terms of the uh, irons. Cali Steelhead XRs. Are those the pros? Yeah, these are actually uh, pretty. Let's go for like 400 bucks. I don't know why I said pretty. I was going to say a pretty good deal, then I stopped. <laughs> oh, here's finish. some more L. Wilsons. I doubt that these are Gary Woodlands, though, because they are regular flex. He's one of the uh, longest uh, players on tour. Five ninety nine on some uh, Titleist 718s. Um, burners. burners. Oh, Ping G2s up there. 249 for uh, Burners is a pretty good deal. About uh, eBay price. Did they say 199 Yeah, 199 on some Ping G2s. That's a really good deal. But I don't think we're going to beat the uh, Bobby Gray. I, that's the first time I beat you forever. I know. I got the wedge. Picked out a, a tour issue, probably, I driver. Mean, we're even, though. Mine in the bag. Yeah. I'd we'll have to ask about the bag. Yeah. I doubt that it's for sale, but we'll definitely inquire. All right, folks. Just when I thought we were going to be, like, at the end of our hot streak, yeah. things picked up. And, and you found it. Yeah, that's, that's the most shot. surprising uh, thing of the day. Also, we got a bajillion things going on. We got planes. We got a tournament going on. Yeah. We just got done trying everything out at the driving range. We'll throw up some uh, shot tracers and some eBay comps. But definitely, for me, oh. one of my best uh, finds oh, ever. Yeah. So definitely excited about that. I think somebody's like testing a go kart engine back there, so I'm lots really of stuff. Sure what's going on? Power yeah. washing, maybe? But <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well, let's go through everything that we got in the order that we got it. And now that I say that, we don't have the Endeavor Compromise putter, although that didn't have a grip, so yeah. yeah. Ashley could have still made a pot with it. We needed a compromise, yeah. no grip. And then we got the uh, R7 CGB Maxes, which are super forgiving. When they first came out, they were uh, very high end. I think they were like over a thousand dollars, but we only got a partial set the mm. four, five, seven, and eight. They'll still go for about forty dollars a piece on uh, eBay. So definitely a, a good deal there. And not to mention we got the uh, Rangefinder, <laughs> and then Ashley absolutely smashed this uh, Ping Rapture V2. Yeah, this thing was super forgiving. Yeah, you've been like the longer hybrids. You used to like not get along yeah. with at all, so you would just basically hit like up to your 7R and then keep hitting your 7R. Yep, over and over again. <laughs> yeah, but uh, maybe the uh, hybrids will uh, be the ticket. Mm -hmm. Also, we couldn't get out on the course because they're having a tournament and they wouldn't even let us out on the range. Yeah. And then we walked into, when we were walking out, we uh, ran into a subscriber. He's like, you guys need some golf balls? So we, uh, we hit we some- hit, like, uh, four balls, that's all yeah, we needed. four balls. I was kind of afraid to uh, hit the Wilson, but yeah. it was it was pretty- it was we'll, we'll get into that here yeah. in a second. Wait for the shot tracer also, on that. Look at this bag. That bag is absolutely- it's not in the best condition, Ew. but it's still super cool. Ricky Fowler-esque. Uh, yep. If you uh, ask me, it's still got the uh, plastic on the legs though. It's kind of funny. Uh -huh. And then uh, after that, I think we- yeah, basically after that, uh, we went to the uh, Play It Again Sports after a, a bunch of uh, strikeouts mm -hmm. that we won't bore you with. But uh, first thing uh, Ashley found, which I thought was going to be the find of the day, yes. which is still really cool. Oh yeah, but that Yeah, the uh, Nick Price. The Fat Lady Swings 1994 PGA Championship Edition, Bobby Grace. So that's the uh, style of putter that he won to use the 1994 PGA Championship. Mm -hmm. And then they made a bunch of uh, replicas of it. And we found those before. And uh, that was the first one that I've actually tried though, because I was always afraid to hit yeah. them because we found them and they were literally not Mint touched. Condition, yeah. This one, this one's still in really good condition. Yeah, though. still in really good condition for fifty dollars. Can't complain about that. And the Fat Lady Swings, like it's kind of a funny name. He's always got like a bunch of uh, funny names. He's got like the Pip Squeak and a bunch of uh, other ones. Mm -hmm. But uh, it definitely, it's like a solid chunk of yeah. CNC. I think it's like a German stainless steel or something like that. But it literally has like the perfect it balance is. and flow. It's so nice. But uh, that one might make the uh, bag. I'm too afraid to uh, put the uh, other ones into yes. uh, play. <laughs> Especially with the display case one. Yeah. And then we'll skip the uh, Wilson here for a second. But this uh, Smith's Works 
uh, with the uh, weird grooves and everything has to be the worst sounding wedge and worst feeling wedge that I've ever tried, but I was literally knocking the pin down. Same, I got it pretty close too, but the sound, yeah, it's weird. weird. And it's also a 50 degree and we couldn't get out on the course, like I said, so all we had was like a 60 yard chip, so I couldn't really get it to spin very much, yeah. but I did get it to stop with the pin, <laughs> which is just as equally as impressive or less impressive, I don't know. You made it work. Definitely lucky, but uh, speaking of lucky, this Wilson FG Tour M3, and the thing that got me like excited about it at first was this Oban, or the uh, Oban Kiyoshi, I think this one is uh, called. I've never and even seen this before. Yeah, these things are super rare. And uh, there's a whole story, we talked to the guy afterwards, and this is definitely one of uh, Gary Woodland's clubs. Yeah. I don't know if he actually used this one, but it was definitely uh, built specs, for him yeah. and built the uh, specs. He's been using Oban shafts for a really long time. And it'd be really weird to have this in a, a Wilson driver, an extra stiff, yes. but uh, definitely excited about it. $170 and wait until you see the uh, shot tracer on that. But <laughs> that was, I think that one's going to the bag and it hit a single bad shot with no. it. We only had a few golf balls, but usually it takes me a few to get warmed up mm -hmm. with the driver. This one was like instantly perfect. Instant. I like miss hit the first one and it was like a low straight bullet. And then mm -hmm. I absolutely uh, crushed the next one. And it just like sounded better Yeah, it too. sounded super good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's like a hot melt or something in there. Oh. A lot of the uh, Tour Issue clubs uh, with some brands are basically the exact same thing, but they'll get built to different specifications or they'll have like weight ports, uh, or not weight ports, that's with wedges, but they'll have like uh, hot melts in there. So if the player wants it to like have the, uh, oh, the like weight towards the toe, obviously. yeah, instead of having it like uh, movable because they don't really need to move it mm -hmm. once it's done. So they'll put it in there and it usually gives it a, like more of a dead sound, which yeah. is that uh, cool. But uh, definitely excited about that, to say the least. I think you honestly beat me, though. That fine? That fine? I don't know. You, you found two issues. Yeah, it's the fine of the week. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take a win wherever I can get them. But hopefully you guys did like this video. I doubt we're going to be able to do a top it. I say that every time, but somehow we managed to do it. So definitely stay tuned. Stay tuned. But hope you guys did like this video. If you did like it, don't subscribe. And, and we'll see, you next time. see you next. Also, we did some Cinco de Mayo stuff, but the uh, the tacos weren't very good. That's why it wasn't worth sharing. We went to the uh, highest rated taco truck in our area. Mm -hmm. The tortillas were good, but it was just it was just okay. It wasn't yeah. it wasn't worthy of the. Uh, yeah, chicken. I know you guys are missing out on the uh, food review this we time. Try. We've been loving them. That's what we get all the comments on. <laughs> Ashley's uh, fit is that what the kids call it? Yeah, the fit. My fit and my eating abilities. Appetite. <laughs> yeah, but so I hope you guys did like this video. If you did like, subscribe, and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you next time, guys. Also, RV in the future? You're pretty sweet. You could fill that thing up pretty quickly. Uh, yeah. With golf clubs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, we'll see you next time. Enough <laughs> rambling.